Not the truth, the money never lie, no I'm the one, yeah, I'm the one Early morning in the dawn, know you wanna ride now I'm the one, yeah, I'm the one, yeah Yeah, you sick of all these other imitators Don't let the only real one intimidate ya See you watching, don't run out of time Workout. It was super hard. I hope you try it. But we're home. This is the last meal prep in this dark kitchen with wooden cabinets that we cannot wait to get out of. Salsa chicken is already done. We did it before we went to the gym. I didn't film it because you guys, you guys have seen it before, but I put the uh, recipe in the description box. You just put the chicken in the crock pot raw, season it with taco or fajita seasoning, a little bit of jerk seasoning if you have it. Top it with salsa, put it in the crock pot for four hours, three hours if you want diced, but four for shredded. And right now, I am gonna do buffalo cauliflower roasted in the oven. I buy Trader Joe's pre-cut cauliflower florets, super easy. Have them in a big bowl. And I have Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Wing Sauce, macro free, zero. Pour. She like, what's up, what's up with me and you? Yeah, what we finna, finna do? Lately, I've been giving you some room, uh-huh Lately, I just don't know what to do, oh, oh, oh I don't want nobody else but you, ooh, I, I I know you don't want no way from me So a recipe that I've never showed anybody before this is my picadillo, my mom's recipe for picadillo. It's a Spanish dish. I am Cuban, if you didn't know, and I'm sorry I'm so nasally. I got back from California and I have a sinus infection, so just bear with me. Um, so the ingredients for picadillo might scare you and you might be like, Christina, what the hell are you thinking? Hell no. But if you trust me this far and love all my recipes, just keep on believing in me because this recipe is unbelievable. I grew up with this recipe. Everyone I tell about it, I have them taste it first and then I'll tell them what's in it because people just like to judge and you shouldn't. So I'm gonna show you step by step on how I make my childhood dish pick a deal. Hey, they say you should stay away from me. No way. I know you the only babe for me. Pray for me, gratefully you love me too Ooh, I, I know a lot of men would do you better Know that I done put you through whatever I 
know that you care for me I know you be there for me If ever something happened, you so damn Real one, I guess I'm just a fool with her Looking in the mirror like Ain't you scared to lose her? Why you acting like another man wouldn't choose her? You know she the only true girl, ooh girl I can't even lie, yeah, you got me falling Even when I try it So the picadillo is gonna simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. It smells like I'm a kid again. It's the craziest thing I haven't made this in so, in like, I haven't made this in years. Cannot wait. So at, while that cooks, I have my buffalo cauliflower done. And I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and start to get my assembly line ready. I'm gonna get uh, my ingredients for my Mediterranean quinoa bowl all set. I already cooked my quinoa on the stove. I'm just going to rinse some chickpeas. And I wanted to let you guys know, just because my carbs are super high does not mean I don't try to get the lowest carb options because I like to eat a lot of food. Iberia garbanzo beans, chickpeas. This brand is less carbs than Goya. So if you can find this brand, it saves you a little bit of carbs. So I'm just gonna rinse these and saute some peppers. I'm gonna do a little, little chipotle bowl with my salsa chicken, so I will let you guys see that. They catch us on the low and I know you hate that They say that I'm yours and you say it ain't that And every time it goes, I just bring the pain back, yeah Break up some makeups, that that's just the way it go Oh, I, I know a lot of men would do you better Know that I didn't put you through whatever I know that you care for me, I know what you spare for me I know you won't wait on me forever Hi, guess what I'm making for YouTube? What? Guess. What What could I be making for YouTube? Uh, desserts? No. What's a recipe that you... I, I, a salad. A salad? <laughs> a salad? <laughs> the chicken I told you about? No. What have I eaten my whole life? Take a deal. Yes! Oh, yay! Oh, my God, Mom. It smells like my childhood. Oh, oh, yay. Are you making it with ground turkey? No. Uh, no, lean ground beef. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'm doing and it then the real way. And the sauce and the, the um, olives and raisins and the cookie wine. Mm -hmm. That's easy. We've got peppers and, and onions and a little bit of... I don't, I don't think I put garlic in there. I can't remember. No, I don't. Just the green onions and the... And, and the there's onion. no... I mean, there's really... It's so, so simple. It's so good. Yeah. And they, okay. should, no one should be worried about. The, I feel like people are gonna be like, "Oh my God, olives, ew!" But you don't even. It just you don't even it, when they cook in with the tomatoes and like when they, the, the, it's not like the the the, 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 the olives can be kind of bitter, and it just it all it turns into the sauce of it. Yeah, so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, I'm gonna be eating the picadillo with white basmati rice and black beans. And what I do with the black beans, I the old, you know. The Christina who is not counting macros and just making a Cuban dish, I would saute my beans with garlic, peppers, onions, and a whole bunch of seasonings. But I just put them in a pan or a pot like this. And then I'm just going to season them up a little bit with this Saison seasoning. It just has garlic powder, onion powder, and I don't even know what else. It's just bunch of stuff so I'm just gonna season those up and just um 
just put it like a like a quick little um, simmer just to thicken them up a little bit because I do like the liquid, the black bean, the liquid of the black beans to coat the white rice. That's just how I grew up eating it. And then I mix the picadillo, the black beans, and the white rice all together, a bunch, just mix it all up. So that's how I eat it. Brian eats it separately with his rice, but that's, you know, my father taught me to mix it all up with my black beans and rice. So that's what I do. I guess I'm just a fool with her. Looking in the mirror like Ain't you scared to lose her Why you acting like another man would choose her You know she the only true girl Ooh, girl. I can't even lie Babe What? How good does it smell in here? It smells awesome, I can't wait to have a big deal it Smells like home And I got a cinnamon fry A what? A cinnamon fry a cinnamon fry. Should we show the, the two? What the hell is that? Basically just like a nice juicy cinnamon bun. It's a bun. It, it, they call it a cinnamon fry. This is what fry. he goes to pub. I ask him to go get some lemon and he's like, sure, I'll go. Yeah, I can't wait. And I'm like, okay, you're weird. 410 calories, guys. Whatever. We don't need his cinnamon fry. We got to pick a deal. It's thick. That's all. It's been like, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 minutes. I'm so bad at even look at the time. I just know what it should look like. But you just want it thick like this. Saute it on medium high heat. Simmer, I mean. Simmer on medium high heat until it is nice and thick and there's no liquid. It's just, just thick. Oh, it smells amazing. You're going to love it. And if you're someone who does not like olives... That's okay. Brian does not like olives. Hates olives. He just pushes them off to the side or I'll spoon um, some picadillo with no olives and I'll try to pick them out. But he just spoons them to the side and then I eat them because I love olives. But this doesn't taste olivey. The olives is just the salt component of the dish because the only salt I add to this is to the peppers and the onions just to help soften them when I'm sauteing. So please don't worry. It's not olivey. The raisins, it's not raisiny. It's just good. All the flavors melded together. Just trust me on this. You will try this and it's going to be a staple in your whole entire life. I've also have made this with ground chicken and 99-1 Jenny O ground turkey I have done. I have the macros for it, so I'm just going to do it the real way. But when I start cutting, I will show you the really low fat version of this with the turkey. I'm going to put together my meals and I will uh, show you my whole assembly line. Cleansing my soul of addiction for now cause I'm falling apart. My camera died as I was finishing showing you everything, but here's our finished meal prep. We got the Mediterranean quinoa bowl. I have my chipotle bowl. Brian has all of his pasta. Here is my picadillo with rice and beans. 
this is my post-workout meal every day. Chicken, buffalo cauliflower, and Yukon gold potatoes. And then this is my meal on my rest day. Butternut squash, chicken, and uh, buffalo cauliflower. And, oh, it's like sweaty and gross. And then we move on Thursday. So next week's meal prep will be in the new house. I'm so excited. It's so much more open and more sunlight and the kitchen is brighter and nicer. And when we first moved to Florida, this was our first real place. So we just, you know, it's been home for a year and a half now. So so excited for a new chapter. So see you guys next week. Don't know what I will vlog because I feel like the constant meal preps has to get boring. Comment below if you liked it, if you want to see any more recipes. Maybe I'll do my black bean brownie recipe. It's so good. So I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.